Hello everyone. Welcome to Stitching with Paprika. Thank you for joining me on this fine day. Okay guys. I made a trip. I just got back from Hobby Lobby. <sighs> okay. So, when I got there, the lady was still pricing stuff down. <clears throat> so I looked she was only about halfway down the aisle. So I looked at what had already been priced down or tagged down. And um it was some there was some nice stuff already done. I said, I'm not gonna look through all of it right now. Well, I'll just pick a couple of things because she's nowhere near done. And we'll look around the store a little bit more and we'll come back. So we did. My husband wound up getting some um canvases to paint. That's he paints and draws and does all kinds of artistic things and he said he wants to paint me a picture so we'll see how that goes <laughs> i've been asking him to paint me a picture for oh how long have we been together um, 17 years yeah so i don't know we'll see i hope he does um anyways what was i saying so he got, while we were looking around the store, he got some canvases to paint some pictures on and um, we came back after looking around and she still was nowhere near done, but she had gotten more towards the end of the aisle and um, I'm, I'm really cold today. <laughs> Our heat stopped, you know, I'm, I'll get to that in a minute. She, um, she was more towards the end of the aisle, but it was time for her to leave. She was at the end of her shift. So they traded off. So I told my husband, I said, okay, you know what? Let's just pay for the yarn I have in my bag, in my basket. And then we'll go out, get some lunch because we were all hungry. The girls were getting fussy and cranky because they were getting hungry. My husband gets cranky every time he gets hungry. So I said, okay, let's just go get some food and we'll come back after we're done eating. So my husband and the girls got pizza. I was really craving Subway. So I got myself some Subway. We had lunch. I said, let's go back. We're going back. So I went back and they were done pricing everything down. And the lady that was um, marking everything down, she says, oh, you came back for more? I said, yeah, I did. I said, I wanted to wait until you guys were done marking everything down. So you guys didn't feel like I was in here rushing you. And she was like, no, it's okay. She goes, I just marked something down to 50 cents. I was like, oh my God. So I ran, I ran to the yarn aisle and I was looking and there were a bunch of people down there just looking and looking and looking. Thankfully they were taking their time and they were looking at the stuff that I had already seen and went through. So, <clears throat> excuse me. But the first time I was in there, I asked them what was going on because there, in my Hobby Lobby, there are two aisles full of yarn. And while she was tagging the first the first aisle I went down the second aisle because I knew that's where their cotton is and I was looking for some white sparkly cotton and go down there and that aisle's completely empty not a skein of yarn on it it's empty so when I came back there was a lady taking yarn off of the shell off of the the very tops of the shelves and putting them in bins and I went over to her and I said, hey, what's going on? Are you guys, you know, clearing out your yarn? Are you getting ready for new stuff? Are you getting rid of yarn? And she goes, no. She goes, well, some of it's changing. That's why we're doing the sale. We, we, we are changing some of our yarn. But at, at my particular location, the reason why that aisle was empty is because they're moving it to a different part of the store. Because that had, that had me worried. A whole yarn aisle just cleared out. So um, that had me worried that Hobby Lobby was getting rid of yarn. But no, she said she's just, they're just moving it to a different part of the store and they're changing some of the yarns and getting new yarns. And she said they're probably still going to do their big sale in the summertime. I told her, I said, I really hope you guys don't because I don't have the money for two big sales. But anyways, so I came back and I got some more stuff. Guys, I got some pretty stuff. Okay, let's, let's get to the whole reason why we're here. Ugh. We want to look at some yarn. And, you know, let me get my receipt out first. 
so I can... Because even though these have price tags on them, I just want to make sure it all came up. Like I said, it was going to. This is that receipt for that trip. There's my other receipt. Here it is. Okay, got both receipts. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, now I see. Okay, okay, okay. So. Put that there. Let's grab this. This is from my first trip. I'm going to save that and that and that for last because those are gorgeous. Those are going to be the very last thing I show you. So I saw. Did I, only get, I didn't only get one of those. Hold on a minute, guys. Um, I know I did not get one of those. No, I didn't. Well, first, let me show you this. For the for the big blanket yarn, I couldn't find... I looked in all of the places where I keep my hooks, and I could not find my bigger hooks. So I went back, and I bought some more bigger hooks. This is a P. Is it a P? It's a 12 millimeter. I think that's a P. Yeah. P, 12 millimeter, Yarnology, 279. And this one is a Q. 15 millimeter, it says P slash Q, 15 millimeter. I'm going to call it my Q. And this one was $3.99. I already had these before, but I have no idea where they're at. So I just bought a couple more. They're not that expensive. Okay, I bought this. This is called Yarn Bee Forever Plush and Smoky Lilac. I just thought this was pretty. And it's soft and it's squishy. And for some reason lately, I'm just into the... The polyester plushy kind of yarn right now. This is a uh, number four medium. Eh. It's 100% polyester. It is 169 yards. Originally $4.99. It's on sale for a dollar twelve. Isn't that pretty? It's a little bit darker. Then it's showing up. Maybe. Yeah, it's showing up a little bit brighter. But I got two of these. Oh, Lord. Two of these. These are pretty. I thought they'd make something cute for the girls. Probably for Adeline. Because I already have so much stuff on. So much stuff in the books for Adora planned. So this is probably going to be something... Maybe a pillow or a lovey or something for Adam. Because this child, she loves blankets. Love, she cannot fall asleep without a blanket. I have blankets all over my house because she needs a blanket to fall asleep with. Unless she is exhausted. But most of the time she wants a blanket to rub on, feel on. So I'm trying to get her stock of like loveys and smaller blankets up. So she can just rub something while she's falling asleep. And then I got, did I get one of these or two of these? I think I just, nope, I got two of them. This is Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek Low Pill Fiber Denim Stripe. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. I like blues. I'm, I'm trying to pick out yarn to get. This is $1.24. Regularly $3.99. I was trying to pick out yarn to buy. And I grabbed this. And Adora looks at me and she goes, Mama, that's not pink. I said, I know it's not pink, baby. She goes, that's not my favorite. You have to put that back. I said, no, I don't. This is Mama's favorite. Mama's allowed to get yarn for myself. <laughs> She, she, she kept talking. She wants pink. She wants pink. She wants pink. And she would have settled for me getting purple, but she really wanted pink. So, um, 100% low pill acrylic, medium number four, 186 yards. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but it's nice and soft and squishy. And I like it. I just 
so squishy. Okay, moving along. <clears throat> no, for saving that one. Let me show these ones. No, not yet. I'll show these ones. Um, Yarn Bee Glowing. Isn't that pretty? They had the other colorway there too, but it wasn't on sale. I can't remember what it's called. It's pinks and purples. And I made an Easter egg out of it last year because it just reminded me of Easter eggs. But I saw this one and this one was just so pretty. It's called Finch Feather, which I've seen finches. That definitely looks like a bird. And 60% acrylic, 40% polyester, medium number four, 198 yards. And that is just gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I got two of these. So a regularly $5.49 on sale, $1.37. That's so pretty. I love that. So bright. And I like the contrast between the brightness and the darker colors. Normally I don't, well, yeah, normally I don't go for stuff with the darker in there. I only go for the brighter stuff. But every once in a while I get something with the dark in there. And I like the contrast. I just think that's so pretty. It reminds me, this one reminds me of my grandfather. Because he loved birds. He always had, he always, he had, I know, my sister has told this story many times. He had so many birds. He had pigeons and um, pheasants and he had ducks at one point. He, he was like having a farm. He had so many birds and he loved birds. And whenever we were like out going somewhere, he would talk about birds and he would point out different birds. That's a finch. That's this. This is that. And then of course he passed that love of birds on to my mom and she would always point out different birds to us. And then that that love got passed on to me and Jenny because I love birds too. In fact, I have to get a new bird feeder this year because my birds broke my bird feeder. So anyways, anyways, there's that. And then about this, this was, this one was a good deal, a really good deal. It's, I love this yarn. I'm gonna cover up the price. I love this yarn, super soft, super savings, sport weight, color turquoise. Isn't that pretty? I wasn't going to get this at first because I'm like, I have so much blue yarn. I have so much in there. But this, this is just so pretty and it's super soft. And like I said, it's a sport weight. This says sport weight, but it says it's a number three. Number three is DK. Apparently it's not sport weight, it's DK. Does 100% acrylic. Regularly $2.99. So pretty. And look at what I paid for it. Can you see that? 62 cents. 62 cents. I could not believe it. I saw that. I jumped down there. I said, you know what? I got to look. I got to look. <laughs> and when I, this, this was up there when I went back there the first, when I went the first time. When I went back the second time, all of this yarn was gone. That whole, there was, well, you'll see in, in I took some videos of it. Hopefully I took video of, of this row. There were, there was like a whole row, like I want to say maybe about this long. And you know, they got their little sections like this long. It was like five different kinds of yarn in there and they were gone absolutely gone that was crazy and then I got I got these and I saw these on my sister Jenny's channel and I know I got three of these yep there it is it was fighting. Um, I got, I saw these on our channel. I was like, my Hobby Lobby better have that. They better have it. They, it better be on sale. I'm going to be so mad if it's not. Soft and sleek, low pill fiber. What color is it? Neon stripe. 
That is just, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. That just reminds me so much of the 80s. It really does. So much of the 80s. I love this. I got three of them. And this is, this is going to be something just for me. I don't know what I'm going to make with this, but it is going to be something just for me. Aren't these gorgeous? Simply gorgeous. I love them. I am so happy. Regularly $4.99 on sale for $1.24. And, <clears throat> you know, as you, as you will be able to tell in my, in one of my videos where I was talking about Ollie's, I was so upset because I couldn't get, I, I, I went to my Ollie's and they did not have the roll with the tweed. And I was, I was mad. I really was. I was so mad because that's all I wanted. I thought I got more than that. Maybe I didn't. That's all I wanted was the roll with the tweed and I wanted a decent price on it. And I couldn't get one. My Ollie's didn't have anything. Now, while this isn't the roll with the tweed and it isn't the color I wanted, it is the Roll With It Melange. It is the color. It is 100% acrylic. Where's the color? Catwalk. And I just think that's pretty. I think that is so pretty. And it's so soft. And this was regularly $8.99. I got it for $2.24. This is just, I am so happy I went. So happy. And it's so soft. But guys, I'm not done. <laughs> I bought more. And you know, it looks like I spent a lot of money, but I, I really didn't. I really did not. And this is just my first trip. Although my second trip, I, I, I really didn't get a whole lot either. These, these also reminded me of something that Jenny just got, but it was a different brand. This, whoops, this is I Love This Yarn. Again, super soft, super savings, support weight, but it's a light number three, so it's a DK. 90% acrylic, 8% viscose, viscose, 2% polyester, regularly $2.99. Look at that. It's the gray with the little rainbow specks in there. I don't know if you can see the rainbow specks. They're like bright neon little rainbow specks. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go. There we go. They're not really... Let me see if I got another one where they show up. Or they're... Here we go. See, and she got. she just got the Heartland... One that's got the, this that's gray with the specks in there. I love this. Regularly, two twenty nine, fifty seven cents. So I got four of these. How many yards is this? Did I say? Two hundred and thirty yards. And now, for my favorites of the trip. But remember, I still have another bag left. So these are my favorites of the trip. They had their Hanks on sale. Not all of them. Most of them were on sale. Guys, guys, guys. I'm going to save this middle one for last. The, these two are the same color. These are Authentic Hand Dyed Blend. They are... 400 yards, 50% superwash merino wool, 50% lyocell, number one super fine, and I, I hate number one super fine, but I'm a, I'm a figure something out for this because I love this, I love this yarn. It is, and it is so soft, oh so soft. Oh. Um, 400 yards. I said that name the color is osaka sky isn't that just gorgeous 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 i love it reminds me of little gemstones you got the sapphire in here 
And then you got some amethyst and maybe some ruby, maybe some garnet right in here, the darker red. Just, oh, I love it. I do, I love, I love, I love gem tones. I do jewel tones, whatever you want to call them. I love those. And this one was not hanged up very well, hanging up. But look at that. Look at that. It looks, it just screams spring and Easter. And let me see if I can. I'm not very good at doing this, but. Let's see if I can at least make it better than what it was. Well, that's a little better. It's a little better. Not much, but it's a little better. It's at least tighter. Isn't that gorgeous, though? So pretty. This is... Oh, did I tell you about the price on this one? I don't think I did. Regularly, $12.99 for this one. I paid $3.24. This one. Okay. Seriously, they put the sticker right over all of the information. Come on, guys. That is some small print. Let me look through my bifocals. Number one, super fine. 400 yards, 100% super wash merino wool. Name color is, and I put the sticker right over the color, the candy coated. That, yeah, because that looks like an Easter basket all day. We all know Easter baskets are full of candy. I had some jelly beans and some. Oh, some Easter candy. This was regularly $15.99. I paid $3.99. So that's my first trip. Let me put all these back in the you know, I'll use this bigger bag. Back in the bag real quick. And then I will get on to my second trip. Oh, but I can I can tell you guys the story of why I'm cold while I'm packing up this yarn. So I woke up this morning and it was freezing downstairs. It was warm in our bedroom because our bedroom's upstairs and you know heat rises. So I come downstairs and it was freezing. Absolutely freezing. I looked at the thermostat and it was set on 70. But the temperature in the house was 63. Um, here it is. So, set on 63, and I'm looking at the thermostat, and I'm like, why? And I don't have my glasses on yet or anything. I literally had just woken up. So I'm like, okay, let me grab my glasses, let me put them on, let me see what's going on with this thing. So I looked, and the, the little battery thing on the bottom was flashing, so I'm like, great. So I had to dig around, find some batteries, because I used all the batteries and all of the girls' toys. So I scrounged around in our drunk, junk drawer, not drunk drawer, junk drawer. <laughs> and I found some batteries. I popped them in the thermostat. I pushed the little reset button. I reprogrammed it and everything, and it still was not turning on. So I'm putting on my heavy hoodie. I'm getting the girls all wrapped up in blankets because my husband still wasn't out of bed yet. So he gets out of bed a little while later and he's thumping down the stairs, grumbling. He goes straight to the bathroom, of course, like all men do. And I'm sorry, my nose is running. I'm still not over this cold. I'm getting there. As you can tell, I'm not coughing and my voice isn't as bad, but I still got some drainage going on. But I said, honey, there's something wrong with the heat. And he's like, oh, great, something else. It better not be anything serious. Because lately it just feels like it's one thing after another after another. 
So I, I told him I set the thermostat, I changed the batteries, I reset it, I reprogrammed it, I did everything to the thermostat. Nothing needs to be done to the thermostat, I don't know what's going on. So he comes downstairs and he looks at the furnace right there. And I don't know, I don't know if this is normal, but our, fur our furnace has a little um, electrical box thingy hooked up to it and there's a light switch and a plug on it. I don't know if that's normal. I've never seen it before, but I don't go walking around people's houses looking at their furnaces either. So he comes downstairs and he looks at it and he goes, the switch is off. I said, how did the switch get turned off? I don't mess with the switch. He doesn't mess with the switch. There's a baby gate up there so the girls can't come down here and mess with the switch. So I'm wondering if when the thermostat battery died, if that switch just automatically switched on its own. I don't know, but he turned it on and the heat's working now, but I feel like I got a chill in my bones since then and it's really getting really hard for me to warm up. Okay, back to, now back to the good part. Uh, why did I put these in here? I'm so cool it. I really, I didn't buy a whole lot the second time. Is this really all I bought? That must be all I bought. I, I know I didn't buy a whole lot the second time. Um. Unless I got some in my bag. I don't know. Anyways, this is more yarn that I bought. I don't know if this is the first trip or the second trip or what. But. I bought some more yarn. This is, this has to be from the first trip because I know I bought more of the Red Heart Roll With It. So this must be from the first trip too. But this one is also Catwalk. So I just bought two of these. Again, regular price $8.99. Sale price $2.24. This is, this is just pretty. I like that. I really like that. That is so pretty. I know, I already, I already talked about this one, so I'm not going to talk about it again. But then I got these two. And these are the same color. These are the Lion Brand Lazy Days. I already have a bunch of it in there. Is it in there or is it in here? You know what, this might be... Uh, nope, that's not it. I know I have some of this somewhere. I just don't know where it's at. I think I do. I don't I don't know anymore. I have so much yarn. I don't know what I have. Lazy days. They didn't have a whole lot of colors that I liked. They were they had like grays and they had like deeper colors. And I don't really like the deeper colors. But this one, I like this one. Surf spray. 100 percent polyester. A medium weight number four. 179 yards. Regularly six ninety nine. I paid a dollar seventy four, and this is just soft and squishy. And I like, I like the way it's it's wound up. It's not. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. My brain is kind of. Can you see the little? things how it's done I like that oh, it's kind of a tube I like that but that's all the yarn I got um I thought I thought there was more but there's not I'm glad there's not more because I really don't need all of this yarn I really don't have the money for it but I um uh, I, I couldn't I couldn't resist that just <sighs> okay so let me look at my receipts I'll tell you exactly how much I spent. The the second trip, I only spent ten seventy nine, and I got two, four, six, eight, nine. I got nine skins a year on the second trip, and I paid ten seventy nine. So that is a really good deal. And then the second trip, okay, let's take my husband's things off of here. Um, I'll say I spent a 
about uh, 40, 40, 42 dollars, somewhere around there. And I got Fifteen? Is that fifteen? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's fifteen skeins. But the ones that when I went the the first trip, those ones that I got were a little bit more a little bit more expensive. I got the couple of them for like fifty seven cents. But Which one came up at three? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go over this because it says that a couple of these came up at three ninety nine, and I know I did not spend three ninety nine on any of those. So I'm gonna have to go over my prices because I know not none of those was marked three ninety nine. I know one of my hooks was marked three ninety nine, and the other one was marked two ninety nine. But there's a couple of things on here marked three, four dollars. That's what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go over this. I might have to make another trip up to Hobby Lobby to get this to get these prices fixed. But anyways, so that's my trip to Hobby Lobby. I had so much fun. If you haven't gone already, well, if you haven't gone already, because this video's I'm recording this on Saturday. It's going up Monday. If you haven't gone to Hobby Lobby by now, then it's probably all gone. But I hope, I hope you got a chance to go. I really do. I hope you got a chance to go and get some beautiful yarn. And, uh, yeah. So, I will, I will show you what I make with all of these lovelies. I definitely will. I, I don't have a clue. I don't have not one clue what I'm making yet. But, um, I will show you. I'm going to record a couple more videos, but right now I need to go get some caffeine because I am exhausted. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me.